Hey guys, uh, doing another video. It's been a while actually since I did one for YouTube. Just finished an ice fishing video for Facebook and Instagram, but I figured I'd talk about a little different thing. Rather than being so general about what I use for ice fishing, I wanted to talk just about rod combos. <clears throat> Basically what I need to do anything I want in Ontario. So here in Ontario, we can fish for everything from bluegill, crappie, perch, all the way up to double digit walleye, giant 20 pound lake trout. So you need a variety of rods, but I think after all the years of doing this, the number for me is you need three combos to cover you in every situation. And I'll explain what they are. So first one I'm gonna talk about is a medium light. So this is a medium light convergence. So you can see the tip is very soft on medium lights. I like the fact that this one has a fluorescent tip so I can really detect those light biters. So this one here, it's Convergence 34 ML. The other thing I like about this rod is the fact that when you bend it, you can see it's got a nice stiff backbone and a very fast tip. And what that allows me to do is really, when I'm working those little jigs, it's not sloppy like some of the fiberglass rods that bend from the handle down. It's got a crisp backbone, good tip on it. And with that, I'm coupling a 500 size Noski spinning reel. You don't need a giant reel. I've got five pound Power Pro Ice Tech on here. And then I run a fluorocarbon leader, like four or six pound test. It's usually a perfect situation. So this is gonna cover me for bluegill, perch. Uh, you know, I've actually caught whitefish on this rod, small lakers. This rod will handle quite a, quite a bit. And that's 34 inches. The next one I go up to is my medium power rod. This is a 36 inch Sedona combo, which actually comes with the Sedona spinning reel. So this is a 1000 size spinning reel. Okay, I've loaded it up with eight pound power pro. The nice thing on this rod here, this is a 36 medium, okay, fast action. So you can see by fast action, it's got nice tip for working baits. So if you're pounding bottom with bottom things or you're working a spoon like the minnow spoon, it's gonna impart a lot of action, but it's got a lot of backbone in the midsection. Uh, this rod will handle just about everything. I mean, really, if I had to pick a rod to be a jack of all trades and I needed only one, I'd probably go medium power. Then the last rod that I use is a medium heavy. So this one here, Sedona Combo again. And with the Sedona Combos, what you'll realize is that if you're buying medium heavy or medium or heavy, they come with the 1000 size reel. If you're buying uh, medium light or ultra light, they come with a 500 size Sedona. So they're already comboed out for you. This one here, 40 inches, medium heavy power. It's got more backbone, but it's still got that fast action. So I'm gonna be able to work those big heavy lures in deep water. This is a rod I'm gonna use for Lakers, Rainbows, Northern Pike, uh, Whitefish, uh, Burbot, just about anything I could think of that's big, big walleye. This is the rod to get that hook into them. Uh, for line, I've got 10 pound Power Pro on it. I'll run a 12 pound, usually fluorocarbon leader on the end of that and it's a good setup and this is 40 inches. So the common things I hear, long rods versus short rods. Well, long rods are definitely the trend now. You're seeing more and more of them. And the reason is things have changed. A lot of guys fish outside. Uh, a lot of the new huts have a lot more room in them. I'll give you an example. I have two huts that I have. My old original Clam One Man, which is probably close to 20 years old. I can't get past 26, 28 inches in the rod there because the front is so close that I'll hit the front of the, the hut when it's folded over. Uh, but if you're fishing outside or you're fishing in a newer hut, like I have an X400, which has tons of room, 34, 36, 40, 42 inch rods work great. They actually allow you to use a little bit lighter line than the shorter rods. Uh, I find that they're a little more fun to fight a fish on. It actually feels more like you're using a fishing rod than that little stump. And the other thing I tell people now, protect them. This is basically electrical wire sleeving. Okay, it's that stuff, that braided sleeving. So it gets big, you can see that. Okay, so basically I just take short pieces of it and I make them to protect my rods for travel. And the reason being is the tips, especially on the medium lights or the ultra lights or the lights, they're very sensitive. They're gonna break easy. So, you know, a $2 or $1 investment is gonna protect your rods. Like I said, you need three of them. So. Let the environment you're fishing in dictate the length of the rod you're using. If you're in a hut, like you're renting a hut and you're sitting across from your buddy on two bench seats, don't bring a 42 inch rod. You're gonna end up poking them in the nose with it. Bring a short one, 24, 26, 28 inches. Uh, if you're outside in the newer style huts, go at it. Try the 34, 36, 40, 42 inch rods. 
you're going to love them. So check them out. These are the new stuff from Shimano that just came out, the new long rods. Last year they brought out the short rod series, but now we've got everything covered and I'm kind of hoping for some colder weather because on Simcoe we got barely any ice yet. So guys be safe out there, have a great ice fishing season and hopefully this will help you out.